William Wordsworth's long, multi-part poem, Ode, Intimations of Immortality, originally called simply Ode, appeared in poems in two volumes. It utilizes over 200 lines and many stanzas of different lengths and rhymes to cover the entire range of a human life. Wordsworth prefaces the poem by quoting himself, particularly his famed line from My Heart Leaps Up, the child is father of the man, and I could wish my days to be bound each to each by natural piety. The first stanzas of the ode recall happier times when as a child, everything seemed sunny and hopeful, but which are now much darker for the poet who misses the undiluted optimism of childhood when a dissipation of pleasure in life seemed unimaginable. Wordsworth writes, our birth is but a sleep and a forgetting, meaning the soul emerging at birth with the body has already been part of some other existence and carries some traces and shadows of a previous state nearer to God who endows each with clouds of glory. So it is these glorious clouds accompany the child into earthly life, only to fall away and be replaced with the disappointments of maturity. Each stage of growing up is described negatively as taking on the limiting roles and constrictions on the self that one must enact. As he grows, the poet says, he must learn these disappointing lessons while keeping within, alive and special, vague memories and visions of the exalted state he previously led and hopes to regain. The poem describes a continual tension between the difficulties of life and the falling away from that immortal sea that brought us hither, which always remains a beautiful ideal. The adult must find his own philosophic mind, even in old age, to cope with the inevitable loss of childhood. Nature offers him the refuge he seeks as he closes the poem by saying, Thanks to the human heart by which we live. Thanks to its tenderness, its joys and fears. To me, the meanest flower that blows can give. Thoughts that do often lie too deep for tears. Wordsworth actually worked and reworked this long autobiographical poem over time, and it contains much that is essential to his mode of thought and belief. He understands that children share unique powers not eternally available to adults. In fact, the child is a father or wiser original of the adult. Children do not think of dying or limitations on their time or powers and may see the external world only as part of themselves. As they leave behind childhood and are shown playing the necessary roles of society and family, they are beset with questions and doubts. The tone of the poem is intensely spiritual, indicating a previous unknowable existence. The poet claims growing into maturity involves engaging with the external world more than a child still finding its way would, since the young believe their potential lies within. The famous line, nothing can bring back the hour of splendor in the grass, reveals an acceptance of loss, since experience takes the place of firsthand excitements.